Hi Cancer, this is your August 29th through September 4th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. Will I have a spread on new love? A separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician. We have uh, the Queen of Cups, then we have the Emperor, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, and uh, we have uh, the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Gemini or any Zodiac sign. Well, I gotta be honest with you, uh, Cancer, the first thing, the first word that came out of my mouth once I laid down the cards and clarified them all, I looked them over and I said, wow, I really did, I swear. Um, this person is coming in, they're serious, they are as serious as it gets, they are a borderline possessive of you, <laughs> and they're not going to take no for an answer. Nope. No, the uh, the word no does not ex exist in this person's vocabulary. But to be fair, to be honest with you, um, you know, I don't see you resisting. <laughs> Perhaps you're going to be impressed. Perhaps you've always dealt with the people who didn't know what they want, wishy-washy people, people who were hot and cold in and out of your life. This person is completely opposite. This person knows exactly what they want and uh, they're here to uh, marry you. There is no other way to interpret that. There's no other way to interpret that. And uh, here's why. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. That's it, Aries. You're dealing with the Emperor. The Emperor could be an Aries. You're dealing with, I'm talking about the Emperor right there in the middle, right? Uh, it could be an Aries, but the thing about the Emperor is uh, this is always a person who knows what they want. The emperor is large and in charge. The emperor is in control. The emperor could be somebody who is very well established. They could run their own business or they could be a boss at um, the, the job they work at. Right? And uh, the emperor often comes through as a future husband or a future significant other figure. That's the person coming into your life. Nobody to mess with. <laughs> right? And they're coming in with the Ace of Pentacles. The very first card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles. This card often comes through as a proposal. The Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck all the way to your head used to be called the Proposal card. So I got two Proposal cards on the table. If it's not a proposal this week, then you will know, you'll be crystal clear about what to expect from this person. You'll know what their intentions are because they will tell you. Not only will they tell you, they'll do it. They'll do quite a few things to show you that they're the real deal, they're, they mean business. The Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family. The Magician clarifying uh, the Ace of Pentacles could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but the Magician is a card of manifestation and most importantly the Magician is a card of taking action. The Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're using those tools. So expect all kinds of things coming from this person. This person will, will throw everything they've got at you, right? They will take you out to a fancy restaurant. They'll give you gifts. They will do this. They will do that. They will, you know, send you a huge bouquet of flowers. You get the idea, right? They're definitely taking action. Lots of it. And it's serious with that Ace of Pentacles. The, the Emperor is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. They want you all to themselves. They want to hold on to you and they will never let you go. That's where that borderline possession energy comes from. But they're not a tyrant. They're not. Because we have that Six of Pentacles right next to the deck. Let's talk about that real quick. In the uh, potential outcome, we have the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of an e equal give and take. So perhaps this person spent their whole life looking for the Empress. <laughs> they are the Empress. They are looking for the Empress. And uh, they believe they have found you. They have found the Empress. That would be you. Right? So it's going to be an equal give and take, balanced out type of a connection between you and them. The Nine of Cups to the left from the Six of Pentacles is a card of a wish come true. So, yeah, this is a wish granted for both of you, I think, right? And the Ten of Pentacles, and yes, we're going backwards, the first card in the potential outcome is a solid, rock-solid commitment on marriage. And it kind of makes sense with the Ace of Pentacles being here. This is just a natural, logical progression from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, right? 
rock solid commitment or marriage. This is when people buy real estate together, they grow old together, have children together, and all that good stuff, I guess. And I have already briefly mentioned the six of ones on the bottom of the deck, used to be called the proposal card, and uh, this is a card of victory, success. They're, they're coming in, they're coming in to win you over, and as I already mentioned, they're not going to take for no for an answer. But for the fifth time, I think you're going to be on board. Because uh, this person is the real deal and you will instantly recognize it. That they mean business, they're here to stay, they're in it to win it, they're here for a long haul. They're here to marry you. Cancer. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm not going to do an extended for you because with cards like that, Cancer, it would be a waste of time. Really, really happy for you. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. <laughs> we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we got the King and the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I just couldn't resist it. Um, I looked and um, we got the King of Cups. <laughs> so what that means, um, you are, your significant other is either a water sign, just like you, uh, another Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or you guys make a perfect love couple. That's what it in general means. A king and a queen of cups in the same spread. Um, love couple, lovebirds, you know, definitely on the same page, at least this week. <laughs> All right, then for, for whatever reason, uh, the first thing I thought of was you guys are remodeling your house or a, perhaps you're adding an addition to your house or you're doing something in the backyard. Uh, for others of you, um, you know, one of you could have uh, could be starting a new job, or one of you could be receiving a bonus or a promotion or a raise at work, and you guys are happy about it, right? The Ten of Cups, the first card I came out is a family card, a commitment card. It's the happily ever after card, right? And uh, the Eight of Pentacles, the next card over, it's a card of uh, work, business, and finances, or working on something. So for some of you, it literally is work, business, and finances, job, a job related, or you guys are doing something uh, at your house or at your apartment, remodeling it, <laughs> or painting it, or doing something in the backyard, or for some of you, it is job related. Here comes the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. For some of you, the Page of Pentacles, it could be a bonus at work, or a promotion, or you could be uh, getting paid for whatever, you know, dividends, or you're cashing in on something. For others of you, the Page of Pentacles, this is not incoming money, but it's outgoing money. And what I mean by that, if you are remodeling your house, or if you are doing something in the backyard, perhaps uh, you need to pay for it, to get the supplies, to get uh, whatever um, tools you need, you know what I mean? Or perhaps you need to hire somebody to help you around the house to do that remodeling. Um, and uh, the Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true. And uh, it's also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Alright, so yeah, this looks good. Alright, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Tower, we have the Knight of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands and the Full. We have Judgment and uh, the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Taurus. <laughs> this is a reconciliation, uh, Cancer, with that King of Wands, right? Yep, that's what I think it is. The Tower, the first card I came out, it could be the destruction of your commitment or marriage in the past, or the Tower could be this person all of a sudden showing back up. Perhaps you forgot about this person, perhaps you thought that they will never, ever, ever show back up, but here they are, right? The Knight of Cups, clarified by the King of Wands and the Fool, that's the person. All those three cards, <laughs> that's the person. The King of Wands could be a fire sign. There is near Sagittarius or somebody with fire in their chart. The Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, so they may have water and fire in their chart. But usually the court card, the king or the queen card, usually takes precedence, right? So it's the King of Wands who's showing up. The Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight out of all four knights. Right? And uh, so expect a very romantic gesture, a confession of love, or them telling you that they miss you so much. And uh, yeah, a gesture with, with a huge bouquet of flowers, them hiring um, a band to sing underneath your um, windows, 
or some, some something romantic like that, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah, the fool. This is them wanting to, you know, start over, uh, start from a clean slate with the full card. The full card is a card of a second chance in this case, right? Judgment right next to the deck is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Hierophant on the bottom of the deck is either a Taurus or somebody with Taurus in their chart, or the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. So, looks like you'll be giving it another go. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Cancer, this uh, week. We have the King of Cups, qualified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and uh, the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think the King of Cups, the first card I came out, that would be you, Cancer. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And the Chariot on the bottom of the deck, that is definitely you. That is your major arcana card. And what you're doing this week, you're leaving, right? You are leaving. And uh, not because you're being fired or because you're laid off, because of this King of Pentacles, right? The King of Pentacles right next to the deck. It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, the King of Pentacles could be a business person, an entrepreneur, or a hiring manager, a recruiter of some sort, right? So I think this King of Pentacles convinced you to get on board with whatever it is they're hiring you for. If this is somebody who wants to do business with you, you could be leaving one business partner and joining this King of Pentacles. But you're definitely deciding to do this on your own. Because like I said, um, I don't know if I already said it, it's, it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, especially two cards, your court card and your major arcana card. That means you're not being forced to do something. You are either doing it on your own or you're being convinced to do it by that King of Pentacles. Um, the King of Cups is uh, clarified by the Ace of Swords. So again, this is your decision with that Ace of Swords. This is you just saying, yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, it's time for me to leave. Yes, it's, it's time for me to, to do this. All right, so hopefully this uh, new place or new business adventure is uh, something you will prosper from. But uh, I don't see any cards suggesting otherwise. I don't. I'm sure you are very smart, very wise, and you know what you're doing. And the King of Pentacles, uh, perhaps they offered you a big deal, like a huge salary with benefits, or the business you're, you want to do with them is just, you know, it's been there for a while. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Cancer, this week. We have the Page of Cups, clarified by the Five of Swords. Uh, we have the Fool, clarified by the Chariot, the Hierophant, and the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It's pretty much the same story as the X spread I did for you um, a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, this King of Wands is going to show back up, apologize to you, and, um, you know, they will offer you to take it to, you know, Try it again, I guess, and you're going to be on board, you know, it's as simple as that, <laughs> Cancer. Yeah, the King of Wands, it's a different deck, but the same story, you know, I use different decks for different spreads. The Page of Cups, the first card I came out is an apology, they're apologizing for the Five of Swords, the Five of Swords is a card of a breakup or a fight that causes a breakup, the Fool is a card of a second chance. Uh, starting from Clean Slate, the Chariot is your major arcana card, the Hierophant is a card of a commitment or marriage. See? It's simple. It's very simple. It's very simple. But it doesn't make it any less beautiful or stable or committed. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.